Hello everybody and welcome back to day four of my DreamHack Las Vegas betting predictions. Now before we get into this, I just want to go ahead and do what the title of the video says and show you guys in the states and other countries how to go on to Drake Lounge um, in case you had money in there that you want to withdraw or in case you wanted to bet on some games as did I. If you live in the states or some other countries, I'm not quite sure what other countries this happened to. But if you go ahead and try to go on Drake Lounge in the past day or so, you'll see that it says the Amazon CloudFront distribution is configured to block access from your country. And this got me really upset, obviously, because if you saw the last video, I had about $330 left in my account. And that was not something that I was going to sit around and just let go away. So I've been looking for a whole bunch of different things, proxies, VPNs on my computer and my phone my friend Xavier was helping me and I just couldn't find it and I couldn't find a video on it. I didn't find a single video on it so I thought I'd put one out when I finally found the a solution not the solution a solution I'm sure there's a couple more out there but um the solution that I found is actually an iPhone app uh, by the name of private browser something um, but it's this white white um, app here with the blue um, earth on the background and all you have to do is go to the app store go to the search bar type in proxy browser proxy browser and it should be the second um, app that's in there for you if, if it's not just keep looking for it it's called private browser anonymous VPN blah 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 if you open this app that I already have downloaded as you can see I'm kind of already in but it'll basically ask you to either make an account with it or sign in with a Google account and I signed in with my Google account and it seems to be legitimate and everything else um, so you then go to your virtual IP and you can choose a server so you see how we're getting around this I actually live in California in the United States um, but if I go ahead and click Germany I'm not sure what other servers work but I know Germany works for sure so if you want to use that one you go ahead and click Germany and type in Drake Lounge now on my phone sorry about that my video cut out and also um, something was going on with the Germany server so I just went ahead and changed the Austria server also works um, I think maybe there was like an over over use or whatever um, but it still works so if I go ahead and click sign in um, there was a lot of other browsers and stuff like that that um, me and my friend found that you could sign into and everything but you couldn't do anything with it. You couldn't pull out of the store. You couldn't bet on matches. You could, you couldn't even look at your history and, and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and tab out real quick while I type in um, my username and password, and then I I verify my login with my um, mobile authenticator. <laughs> all right that is taken care of as you can see I'm logging in now and the server or like the internet may be a little bit slow because you're like not in the country and stuff like that but it does work if you are trying to withdraw skins or if you're trying to bet on matches so let me go ahead and keep uh, testing this out let me go ahead as you can see my $322 is there from the last episode if I go to store hopefully there's something cheap for me to pull out that I can show you that this is actually working at 322 if the bots are even working because I know how shitty this website is $322 let me go all the way to page 27 hopefully it's like a $10 skin that I actually might want um, dude, I don't I don't fucking know 
let's just pull out a, a well-worn hyper beast if we can purchase bots are down but you get the point you get the point you can go here um you can go on Drake Lounge. You can withdraw if this website actually worked and had bots and everything else. Um, let me show you that I can put a $1 bet on some random League of Legends match that I know th nothing about. Um, so I can click Zhongzhu Gaming versus fucking I don't know. And the little yellow thing pops up as it usually does on Drake Lounge. And I just put a dollar on fuck. What, where'd that go? I just put a dollar on fucking Zhongzhu. I don't know. And I click confirm, and it pops up with the confirm and everything else as it usually does. So as you see, my sections were made successfully. I'm sorry. I need some water real quick. Sorry about that. When I record like late at night, my throat is really dry. But as you can see, my dollar is out of my inventory and everything. So that is actually how you can go on Drake Lounge in the States and other countries like that. Um, so if I helped you guys out and you guys didn't lose all your skins that were stuck in there or whatever, um, some support is really appreciated. And now let's finally get into the games. There's only four games to cover today, and most of them are pretty simple. Um, we have the Gambit North game here. And in my opinion, I believe that Gambit are um, going to win this game. Um, I think that Gambit's just an incredibly strong team. North are still playing with AZ, who's a fill-in. Um, and Optic just didn't show up. North has literally only beat Optic this tournament. So that's not all that amazing well no no north beat who else did they beat misfits no who's in their group who was in their group i'm i'm sorry i'm i'm zoning out did they beat misfits no they beat north beat oh complexity it's even worse than misfits yeah north has beat complexity and optic in this tournament and they even lost to Optic earlier in the tournament. So not very well showings from North. Gambit went through by beating VP and Fnatic. So very good showing from them. And in my opinion, in on Drake Lounge, I don't think that Gambit's going to have this high of a percent. I believe that it's going to be a 50-50, if not even in favor of North. Because for some reason, on, on Drake Lounge, the Gambit's just really underrated. Um, but if Gambit does have this type of percentages on Drake Lounge, don't bet on them. But if it's like a 50-50 or Gambit has a lower percent, I'd definitely drop a low to medium bet on Gambit. Next is Mouse versus VP. And I expect the percentages on VP to be pretty high here just because people are like, oh, Mouse is getting carried by Nico and Oscar. But so what? If they are getting carried by Nico and Oscar, they're still winning. And VP is isn't even prepared for this tournament they said it themselves and things like that they're probably just going off of aim right now and old tactics and if they're going off aim right now against mouse they're gonna lose so i definitely drop a small bet on mouse here depending on the percentages um i mean i definitely drop a small bet on mouse here no matter what but if the percentages are looking good you could even drop a, a bigger bet um for a really big upset Astralis versus NIP is a game that I would definitely stay away from um, because there's just been so many times where NIP just looks shaky through the group stages and then they come out and beat a top tier team and then just get knocked out of the tournament right after. Um, NIP just does that sometimes. They just explode on a team like one of the top teams in the world and then just poop out the next part. So like it, it happens a lot and Astralis, you know, Still known for choking, even though they won the major and everything else. I, I would just stay away from that match. And finally, SK versus Navi. I expect this to be about a 50 for 50 on um on Drake Lounge, if not in favor of SK a little bit. But I definitely think that a medium bet here is sufficient on SK, because in my opinion, Navi are still so overrated. And I think that SK SK Navi has always been a classic matchup of tactics and things like that. But without 
but without Zeus, I believe that SK wins in tactics. And with Cold Zera and Fern, how they've been playing recently with the addition of Phelps, I think that SK wins with, uh, with pure aim as well. And um, I, I've always thought Navi have been overrated um, since about a couple months ago when they picked up Simple. I didn't think it was a good pickup for them. So, yeah, if it's if it's about a 50-50 or something like that, I'd drop a, a small a small bet on SK just to, you know, kind of maybe double your money or something like that. But it's up to you. Probably stay away from the game. But um, but if if you want it, if you if you like had to bet on someone, I'd go small on SK. Um, but I'd I'd probably stay away from these last two games, and um, even this game if the percentages are right. But definitely drop a bet on Mouse versus VP on Mouse. So to recap, Gambit North um, go on Gambit if the percentages are are close enough. Um, if Gambit's hugely favored, don't even go on it. Um, North V, I mean Mao's VP definitely drop something on Mao's. No matter what the percents are, they're gonna have lower percents than VP. Drop something on them. Astralis and IP skip, and SK Navi for the most part skip. Um, maybe a small bet on SK. So um, yeah, that's it. Hopefully I helped you guys with the Drake Lounge situation, and hopefully you guys make some money tomorrow if you do end up betting on any of these games. So uh, yeah, thank you very much.